Hey Stash fans, it's Sunday afternoon and I'm going to change the oil in my truck, the Unicorn. The reason I call my truck the Unicorn, actually it's a pretty good story. Um, the salesman at the motorcycle shop that I've been dealing with, Scott, called it a Unicorn. I thought, you know what, that's a really good name for her. I had another name when I first got it, but it didn't stick. Anyway, she's a Unicorn because she's a three-quarter ton full-size truck with the long box and a manual transmission and the 6 liter V8 the only other pickups I've seen from Chevy in this model year that had the manual transmission had the either the 4.3 V6 or I think the 5.3 V8 and I've only ever actually seen them step side so it's got the big v8 engine it's got the manual transmission these trucks just don't exist uh, that's why when I saw that it was for sale I snatched it up also I mean I needed one because I had totaled the Jeep and I was rebuilding the Jeep um, but I needed a vehicle I saw this truck I wanted a truck and I saw it for the price in fact I emailed the dealer when I saw it for sale on like Auto Trader or something I said could you confirm that this truck has a manual transmission because there's so many times that they put it is when it's an automatic I mean it's not that hard but it's a stick shift I'm like oh my god I need it so I had the money because it was the insurance claim for the Jeep I needed a vehicle so it was like fate brought us together anyway I bought her in I think July she's hot because I just took her for a run so I'm not going to lean against it and they had changed the oil just when I bought it and I've put about I don't know 5,000 miles or so. I don't know, the change oil light just came on. Um, I haven't put a lot of miles on a commute mainly, mainly by motorcycle, but that needs an oil change too. That's going to be a video for another day. Anyway, so we're going to change the oil. Um, we are going to check all the fluids and everything. I'm going to grease the front end again. It probably doesn't need it because I changed the brakes when I got the truck and the steering components. Some of them, not all of them. And I greased it all then. I can't imagine I really need it. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, I probably do because it's been a few thousand miles. It's only been, it seems like a few months, but now that I think about it, yeah. So I know it's sort of dark. I had to bring my truck all the way into the garage. Don't have a lot of lights in here, but the, the driveway angle is too steep, and I didn't think the oil would drain out right. And I didn't want to park in the street, you know, and work there, so I figured I'd put it in the garage. It's sort of dark, but that's okay. So we will get going. All right, Stash fans. We are back trying to find a place to hang a work light. Sort of, sort of dark under here. Not too bad though. I uh, haven't changed the oil on this truck before. This is the first time. I normally do all my own maintenance. So I'm not quite sure what this is. I think it's a 916. Might not, might be a 5 ace. Yeah, alright. So, I had to take these jugs to AutoZone. And apparently those people really don't know which way the directions are. They told me it was in the back left of the store. So I'm carrying this jug around trying to empty it. It's in the back right. So, oh well. Man, the problem is this is exhaust is hot because I just driving the truck and I don't want to touch it. Oh. I don't know, but I don't think there's any excuse for oil cap to be that tight. That was ridiculous. So, not cool. Alright. But, that was nice and loose. And, let's see. I'm using the MetWrench that's both standard and metric. So it's the 15 millimeter or the 1932nd. Um, 
Seems weird that it'd be 19 30 seconds, so I'm guessing it's probably metric 15 millimeter. Oops. So that happened. But that's life. That really came out of there. <laughs> oh well. Just give me something to do to clean that up later. And yeah, I'm wearing safety glasses. Go ahead and make fun of me, but I actually happen to like my eyes. And you know, my wife likes my eyes, too. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep wearing glasses to protect my eyes. Now I looked it up and it says this truck holds six quarts. So hopefully this thing holds six quarts. I'm sure it does. It probably holds probably three gallons. It's my guess. Had it for so long, but you know, I don't I don't really change vehicle oil much. Just because my wife's car is so low to the ground, I don't have ramps to get under it. It's easier just to take it in and get the pit crew oil change at Walmart. But I'm gonna run synthetic in this. I wanna run the high mileage synthetic. Since I'm at like I don't know, 95, 96,000. I wanna try that. And then on the bike, this thing, I don't know. Changed oil so much on my bike and it never got pulled out. I had to get these special oil wrenches that go on the end cap for actually working on the BMW. Before that, I just always used those other wrenches that go around the outside. These aren't too terrible. Um, they do the trick. I'm not real, real happy that I missed the container and got it on the uh, floor. That's going to suck. But, whatever. Really? I guess I'll have to get a hammer. Truth be told, I don't really care much for these end oil cap things. I like how the BMW, I got the uh, K&N filter that has just the nut thing on the end. It makes life a lot easier. So you don't need an oil filter wrench. What a piece of shit. I have no doubt that the dealer I bought the truck from used just conventional uh, motor oil. Fossil fuels, you know, and I don't know how I feel about it. This is actually the first time I'm using the synthetic high mileage. Uh, the truck doesn't use oil, it doesn't really leak oil, so I don't know if I need the high mileage, because they say the high mileage oil is for, um, if it leaks or uses, it sort of has some sealers that makes the glass get swell up and such, but I live in, you know, Phoenix, so there is extreme heat, it's a 17, 18 year old truck, it's got close to 100,000 miles, so I figured it hasn't been driven a lot, obviously, in that time. So, yeah, I'll put some high, th high mileage, and I'm going to try synthetic. I always run synthetic in the motorcycles. I never did in the vehicles, but since I'm spending the money, I'm going to try it. It's only a couple dollars more. And I did a lot of research, and I'm convinced that, you know, cars used to get 100,000 miles if they were lucky. Now cars get 250,000 miles, no questions asked. And the preciseness of the machining really hasn't changed in the last 10 years or 15 years, but the use of synthetic oils have. So I really, really think I'm going to try synthetic, see what happens. I'm not expecting any difference in performance, uh, just longevity. And it's sort of one of my main goals in life is to put a million miles on this truck might not happen if it does it's going to be a long 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 time and I'm just looking forward to the hundred thousand mile mark so I can join the Chevy 
Legends Truck Club because that's been a goal of mine since I got this truck. So uh, I need to start driving the truck more so I can do that. Get me a free hat or something. All right, as I let this drain, because there's the conventional oil, I'm going to let it drain as long as I can. I'm going to go check off the other fluids up top, see if they need anything, see how everything's doing up there. All right, Stash fans, the oil below is changing, so we are going to check the fluids up top here. When I bought the truck, I put a K&N air filter in it. That's the first one I've used, so I thought that was cool. I topped off all the fluids a while ago, but we'll check them anyway. Here you can see the brake fluid is well above the add mark just below the maximum mark so that's good coolant level it is I don't see a, a full hot mark I see the full cold mark and it's above the full cold obvious it's gonna be more when it's hot so we will check that when it's not hot and the air cleaner is still good per the little sensor there all right I think we have some rain -X, bug remover windshield washer fluid. A long time ago you can see it's really old. There's not much of it left. But it was on sale I think at Pet Boys, whatever. Wherever I went. So I picked it up because it was cheaper than the other stuff due to the sale. Now I'm sure there's a full mark on this. But since I can't see it I'm just going to fill it up until I see it in the tube. Or I'm just going to fill it until I run out. That works too. So Oh well. So apparently it was thirstier than I thought it would be. And at least it's got something in there now. So cool. Power steering fluid down here. Ouch! Radiator hose is still hot. Which I knew it was going to be, but when I lean against it, it's a lot hotter. Alright. Wipe it off. Check it. Let's see. Hmm. It's a little almost to the add mark. Probably could use a little bit. So yeah, I could use a little bit. I'm gonna see if I have any laying around. If so we will add a little bit in there. This is my trusty do-it-all funnel. I've had this thing for so many years, I just clean it off when I'm done and it just keeps going. Never need anything more. I love that little funnel. Works for all the motorcycles I've ever needed it for. Um, this one is a lot larger than the AC Delco one that was on there. That is very interesting. But yeah, look at the size difference. This is the Mobile One Extended Performance. Protects for up to one year, 20,000 miles. I don't know if I believe that, but I'm willing to give it the benefit of the doubt. This is the first Mobile One oil filter I, that I remember using. Um, I was going with Mobile One Oil. I actually do like Mobile One for the bikes. So I'm going to try it in the truck and see what happens. So maybe that's just the nature of the beast is filters that much longer. When putting new oil, oh, now we got to clean that off. So when putting a new oil filter on, you guys got to want to make sure you put some oil around the gasket there get it nice and wet before you put it on that way you get a tight seal I think that's something that submariners and walruses have in common they both like a tight seal and that's what I'm looking for right now while putting this on. Hey Stash fans, I, uh, I just remembered my camera died. 
I mean, I know that's not a hard thing to forget, but anyway, I had the camera recording. I was doing my truck. I was just talking and talking away as normal. And then I got done. I did the oil. Everything went as fine. I topped off all the fluids. Everything was fine. I greased all the ball joints. Well, not all the ball joints. The lower ball joints aren't greasable, but the tops are. And the outer tie rod ends and such. Um, everything's good to go. Truck's good. And it turns out I went to do a walk around and show off my work and the, the camera was dead. I don't know when it died. I haven't had a chance to look at the footage yet. Uh, I figured I was going to do that when I cleaned up the garage. And after the time was, garage was cleaning up, it was time for dinner, so I completely spaced. Sorry about that. We're out walking right now. We got one of the hounds with us. Um, so I just wanted to tell you everything went good for my truck. I got a couple things going on. There's uh, another little series, I think, where I'll be building something. I think that's coming up. I need to just finalize that, but I'm pretty sure that will be coming up this week. Uh, tomorrow is another cocktail night, so you can tune in for that. It's going to be the Monday night cocktails. Or, I guess, some type of drink Monday nights. Not necessarily limited to cocktails, because it's been beer, too. Whatever. Anyway, cool. And, uh... Yeah, so I got that. Uh, I got that contest going. What are the dogs' names? How many do I have? And, uh, yeah, awesome. Also, I got all the stuff to do the 60,000 mile maintenance on the BMW. So that will be coming up. I don't know. I'm looking for the logbook to see when I did it last. I've been using an app called Fuely. And something happened, but everything since before March of 2017 has been deleted. And that's not good. So I'm hoping I'll find my log to see when I did the, the last maintenance on it was. So we'll be recording that also. Anyway, I'll just wrap this up. Uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe, turn on your notifications if you want. And uh, thanks for watching the Molly Stash Show. We will see you tomorrow for our drink night.